Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, not too far away from all the shiny lights on the strip. Folks, you clicked on the 1956 Ford F-150. Custom cab. It's all steel. It's in really, really nice shape. I'm your living, breathing condition report here at Celebrity Cars. Uh, I should have a little yellow rag in my hand right now because I already see a couple of fingerprints as we kind of sort of walk our way around the car. And they're gonna bother me as we, uh, as we get into this. But I'm your living, breathing condition report here at Celebrity Cars. I, I go over uh, scratches, dents, things, uh, <clears throat> chips in the paint, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you wanna find out what kind of motor size it is how many owners it's had, uh, all that kind of stuff, all of its history that we got here when we got this truck in. You go to celebritycars.com. Uh, I think I know what the motor is. We're gonna share it with you. If any of you wanna follow up on the video and say, hey, I know exactly what that is. We were told what motor size is in this truck and I couldn't believe it. And then we popped the hood and I looked at it and it didn't look a whole lot. It's an LS motor. We'll start there, okay? It's an LS motor in here. I don't know if it's an LS1 or if it's an LS6 that it's claimed to be. Now, when you drive it, it's not an LS1. It's much more than that because this weighs a lot and it doesn't take a whole lot for the, for the butt end to slide to the side when you hit the gas pedal. So lots of torque, it's a, it's a powerful motor. And then uh, uh, <clears throat> yesterday, a gentleman uh, uh, just ordered one of these motors said, that's an LS6. Okay, let's, folks, sometimes we get some vehicles in here, we don't know what it is. So he said it's an LS6, I drove it, we're gonna drive it again in a short period of time together, and then we're definitely gonna find out uh, what kind of power plant this is. At least I can diagnose a very good horsepower because I've been doing this for a really long time now. So, okay, I normally start where the environment smacks against the front of the vehicles as they're driving down the road and report back to you how many chips, nicks, uh, uh, you know, how bad the patina may be and how many scrape scratches and stuff. So uh, uh, Jose is doing exactly what I would want him to do right now is just kind of focus in on all these parts, this front bumper, the paint in this area here, the chrome in this area. While he does that, I am gonna go get myself a microfiber towel. Because I see too many things that uh, I wanna make sure come off. So, sorry for the road trip here, folks, but I care about these things. You know, you might live on the other side of the country. Uh, you might live uh, in, in, uh, in another country, and you've always wanted one of these trucks, and, uh, you know, maybe you want to win some awards, and you don't care for these trucks if they have little scratches <clears throat> in the chrome, because that's too much to replace and all that stuff. So, that's why I'm here and I grab one of these rags to make sure you folks get to see all the details of these things. So, uh, aside from a small watermark here and there, folks, this is uh, extravagant. I mean, it's, uh, uh, the chrome is absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> sure, there's a couple little itty bitty things, but sometimes I tend to like to rate chrome. And since we're talking 50s here, and since we're talking, when's the last time you went to a chrome refinishing place? What are there, like three of those in the country somewhere? So this chrome is A plus, I'm telling you. Um, there's a little itty bitty mark right here. I think maybe that might even be a bug because it was starting to come off as a, yeah, as a bug. I didn't come all the way off yet, but uh, let's see all the way across. I'm trying to find one little nick in this chrome and I really can't. Um, I could lay down and, and use a magnifying glass and maybe find one folks, but we're not doing that today. Um, this is all so nice. And again, the headlights, the, the, the lower uh, turn signal markers, it's just really, really sharp. The red is absolutely beautiful. I, I could sit here all day actually because I had no idea that this was really this nice down here. 
on occasion I see a spot where you could grab a little bit of your polish out and you could, you know, re redo a small section of the top of the bumper. It's just, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing, this is beautiful. Now I'm gonna stand up here, like I'm doing right now, and look straight down at this bumper and make sure it's straight, because holy crap, did these bumpers bump into a lot of things. And how long has this truck been around? Yeah, so this is magnificent. Look at this lineup. It's not perfect, perfect, but that and then over here, this, is, this isn't that far off. There's a couple little things here that need to be shimmied a little bit. And then I work myself up here to the Ford emblem here for this F-150 and it's just awesome. It's the very, very slight patina. And then uh, my eyes are shooting up here looking at this entire great big hood and it's one big sea of red. I'm gonna look right around this corner. Oh, see, more fingerprints. Right around this corner, I'm gonna follow it all the way up right along here. I couldn't be studying it better, folks. And all the way up here and all the way across. I'm not gonna run this across the paint because it's not necessary. If I stand over here, I see a couple um, finish things going on, but they're so minor, I'm not even picking them out. You know why I'm not picking them out? is because we're in celebrity cars right now. <laughs> and we have skylights, the sun is blue, the sky's blue out there, sun's shining in, with these fancy lighting system we had added in here. And if we use these lights to see, they're like a magnifying glass. You see everything. And now I'm just, I'm getting really critical. Yeah, over here, see? This is the kind of stuff that, uh, you know, oh, no, see, that's gone. Thanks for showing me that. It's not gone yet, but it would be. I'm just using some spit. Okay, so there's a little something right there, folks. Again, so faint, and I'll bet you oh, a small can of polish would make that go away. I'm being very critical here. I hope you understand. I know there's a lot of you uh, 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 guys at home checking this truck out with me, and I know you're following along, and I don't want you to think that I'm missing anything. Inside, uh, when we open up the hood, you're gonna see some marks inside here. That would just take a little bit of touch-up paint. I'm not telling you how to fix it, but there's just a little scrape in there. And uh, you come over here. And then, uh, this, there you go. In there. That uh, could be a little bit of wax, too, if you will. Okay. Uh, let's work our way down the driver's side of the truck. I don't want to get uh, caught up over there. There's better light over here. And I'm just going to continue looking, folks. This is all metal stuff. I, I guess it would be fun if I had a, a magnet, but... Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. This truck is really, 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 really nice. This whole fender here is in just about perfect shape. I just moved some dust around. We're in dusty Las Vegas, sorry about that. Um, now, get, coming down here, this kick panel, getting in and out of the truck. Yeah, like I told you, this, this truck isn't perfect. It's gonna have, it's, it is gonna have little things. It's just shocking that the nose looks as good as it does. But there's a small, this is, this is a chip. That's a chip, that's a chip, that's a chip, that's a chip. Now, what are these chips from? The chips are simply from getting in and out of the truck. Um, stuff falls out. Of, stuff falls off the bottom of your sneaker. Your sneaker hits it by accident. Your shoe hits it by your boot, whatever. And you're driving down the road, so you're going to get chips like that all, all the way down there in the ground. Okay, come on back up here. The seam of this door, which is really amazing, but right here, we've got a little accident. Okay, so that's not. It is what it is. That was just some goop. This side view mirror, I don't know, kind of good as new. I'm, st I'm down here, but I'm looking at the molding around the windshield. And so far, that's the most faint uh, chrome I've seen so far on the truck, but it's by far, uh, it's far from bad. Uh, it just has some, some light patina to it is all. I think it looks good. Same as the, uh, the trim around the door. Wow, that's in great shape. Custom cab right here is in great shape. The door handle's good. Look at this door lineup over here. I mean, it sticks out just a little down there, but this doesn't suck. I mean, this is awesome. Okay. Climbing up here. Da -da. Okay, now, along with, you know, me stating that this, this truck isn't perfect, but boy, it's, it's getting kind of close there. You got the little chips down there in the bottom. I'm gonna open this up now and get this out of the way. Uh, if you'll notice over here, 
and we are going to get this fixed in the next couple days. Uh, we have all the pieces down there. They're in the center console. So this is how you open up the door, clunk, and your door opens up. Um, right now we've been reaching outside and hitting the door handle and it opens up just fine. But by the next time, uh, you, by the time you guys give us a call on this, this will be all repaired and, and in good shape. But a little sneak peek at this interior, folks. Look at this. It's this brown leather. It's all on here really good. It's not getting ready to fall off the door. I've, we have, I see it so many times. This stuff's getting ready to just, you know, fall right off. It's great. Look at these seats. Isn't this a beautiful truck? This is a great truck. All right, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Carpet's good, all that cool stuff. Okay, while I have the door open, let's just kind of look down the sides. Well, I don't have the, I, I've got a really small chip all the way down on the bottom. Barely even worth pointing out, but there it is. The rest of this is smooth all the way up. Incredible. And the door jam, while I'm in here, since we're talking paint, there's, your, there's all your you know, birth certificate stuff. And then these door jams are nice and clean too. It's, uh, it's, it's really pretty super. All right. See, I got the door closed. See, it kind of pulled open. I noticed that as well. You got to give it a real good close and then it's not going anywhere. So just thought I'd share that. Okay, same patina around the windshield and around the doors is going on on the uh, chrome molding around the rear glass. That's glass and uh, it's flawless. Kind of curves around the back. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I never paid attention to that before, how it doesn't just go flush, it curves around. Okay, uh, back down here, then, yeah, folks, over here, I see a couple maybe little blips in the paint, but other than that, it's just brilliant red. All of this is gorgeous. All the welds, all the stuff. There's no weird panels, there's no wobbly panels. This is gorgeous, this rear fender. nothing no no skip chips or scratches to point out i didn't talk about these wheels folks there's no curb rash on these wheels and they look to be brand new as well I see a little watermark down there that's gonna bug me but other than that they're beautiful yeah they've been shining up real nice no curb rash on that one either okay let's keep moving i'm gonna grab the back of the oh well i guess we can kind of sort of look along here it always seems like, too, with these pickup trucks, along here, right where, this, where I'm running the rag, always gets, I don't know, maybe it's a difficult place to paint. I'm, I'm not sure because it runs or whatever, but these are always kind of sort of screwed up a little bit paint-wise, and this is in really nice shape. Same thing as over there. They, that looks really, I see a mark every once in a while, but boy, folks, it's just, a lot of people walk up and they put their hand on here, it's, oh, blah, blah, blah. you know how it goes. But this is in much, much better shape back here. And I, it looks like, you know, maybe, you know, a piece of furniture or some groceries or, you know, a couple boxes did sit back here. So this uh, harder stuff in the mill has just a couple of little scratches in it, but you know, nothing, nothing crazy. These walls in here where all these rivets are, there's, you know, there's a couple wobbles, but I, I always see it so much worse. This is just a really, really nice truck. This is all very, very nice back here. It's worth spending an extra second talking about it. All right, oh, there, there's your gas tank too. Jose, did you see that? Okay, and then we're back to, uh, you know, a couple little added, but wipe away really quick watermarks. Boom, they're gone. This rear bumper, remember when we talked about the front bumper? All right, well, rewind it, because then you shouldn't have gotten this far without watching the first bumper part. Um, this is in just as good a shape as the front bumper. Oh, it kind of brings a smile to your face, because it's really difficult, I mean, you know, we, we get a lot of cars in and the, and, the, and the chrome is getting ready to kind of sort of take a crap and it's a bummer because you know that you know, it's ex costly to get fixed and where are you gonna go get it done? It's all done. It's awesome, this whole back forward, this is beautiful. I'm, I, my eyes are looking at all these joints, all these little welds. And normally I just see scratches like crazy. Let's, let's look underneath real quick. Let's just look down here underneath and you can see how there, the, this awesome gas tank kind of sort of looks new. The suspension looks new. Um, we got a little, uh, uh, is that an air ride going on here? Does this thing kind of sort of go up in their bags back here, folks? This is a nice truck. Look at the side exhaust. The exhaust system comes out of the side on both sides. That's awesome. It is super, super nice and clean under here. Now, uh, give us a call when you're, when you're really, really interested in purchasing this truck and you need to see underneath it. 
give us a call here. You talk to Andrew or Ryan, and we'll get this uh, up on the lift so you can see underneath it. All right? These rear, rear tail lights, they're all in one piece. Uh, is that a little crack? There's a little crack at the top of this one. But it's really minor. It's not coming apart yet. Oh, there's that. <gasps> Over here. Same story. Wonderful. All goods. Okay, terrific. I could show you this while we're back here. Why not? See how nice this tailgate goes down. Oh, I'm glad I did this. So I got a little scratch right here. Somehow, uh, I, I guess this kind of sort of did it. So it should be installed a little better, maybe. I see a little mark <clears throat> or two going down here, but um, I, I know that this could be fixed with a little bit of polish as well. And over here looks good. Small little scratches from opening and closing, but boy, folks, they're so minor. I mean, you have to touch these things. You have to use them for crying out loud. So you'll get a, a light blemish from time to time. Okay, let's work our way down the passenger side. Passenger side. Okay, the rear fender. Man. Isn't that awesome? Wheel and tire is fine. All along here is fine. This might be one of the nicest red trucks we've ever had here. I'm actually pretty shocked. I, I just. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a truck person, folks. I don't spend a whole lot of time looking at this. It came in, it was bright and shiny red. I said, ooh, it's pretty, and, but now I gotta dissect it. Here's a very small little chip right here. There literally should be these little chips all over this truck, and the only places I've really found them are down here, obviously where the road kind of sort of is only six inches away. Over here, just a couple really small blips, but nothing to point out to you at home, nothing. This door, door handle looks good. The lineup of the door, pretty similar to the other side. Glass over here looks good. It's chrome, same, around the windows. Side mirrors, beautiful. Down here, just the connection between, come on over here and look at this too. The connection between these, I, I'm, I, 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 I've just never seen it so nice is all. This whole thing, it was just perfectly installed, put in. This line up here is, is just spot on. We're gonna look at this real quick. Folks, it looks just like this on the other side too. I didn't point it out. These gaskets are in here real good. They kind of sort of seem new. They got a bunch of moisture in them. See this, I'm trying to pull this away from the car door. It's rock solid on there. Same thing up here. This is what the door handle looked like on the other side. Sorry, it kind of fell off the moment it got here. Sorry about that. And another thing too, I'm not finding any, I'm not finding any paint problems. I'm just, it's just crazy. You know, they, you know, you know what I mean, folks, the, the guys at home that you know what the hell you're looking at. Looking in these door jams and stuff like that, they're just kind of like, well, you know, we don't need to paint those. I mean, it's, it's door jam, who cares? No. They went to town. I'm running my hand along the bottom here. Feel, let's see if I feel any drips, no drips. Jeez, this is awesome. Small mark on the carpet right here, small mark on the carpet right there and there. I'm pretty sure if somebody gives a crap enough, we'll be able to get some soap and get them shined up pretty good. Uh, but the carpets, you don't need to be replaced or anything. They're in fine shape. And this seat's beautiful, feels incredible. We'll get back to, we'll probably conquer the interior once we get outside and we go for the little test drive because it's kind of hard to see in here. I mean, this, that's beautiful. We we'll wouldn't be able to see it much better outside in the sunlight. Okay. Oh, that one closed nicely. Can't pull that one open. Okay. Um, please notice the, uh, the crease here for the hood. Yeah, it's, it's a, a Probably be nice if it sat a little bit better, but I, I, I believe it kind of sort of can't because it needs the room in order to go up and down. So uh, this is all very equal cavern here across all the way the, over the other side. And then we have our front fender here and uh, I'm happy to report that uh, there's nothing. Oh, that's right. I marked this down on the condition report when I got here. Here you go. Sorry, find some good touch up paint. 
No, your detailer won't be able to get that out. I don't know what that was. It kind of looks like a stick. Shoo, driving down the road. Isn't that a bummer? It's what happens when you drive these things down the road. It's with everybody, it happens to everybody. Okay, so we've dissected all that. Okay, we're gonna spin it one more time. And then we're gonna look at this engine compartment. Now, because it's a great big hood, it kind of sort of takes a little extra minute in order to get it open with it a little extra shimming because we've gotten used to this hood now. So just give me a moment, please. Underneath here is the little thing. I'm gonna pull it over this direction. Oh man, I got it right away this time. Okay, now that's all the higher the hood goes up. Probably the reasoning why there's so much of a gap uh, uh, or so little of a gap behind uh, this hood because that's as far as it goes without scratching in anything. But here you go, folks. If you could look in here, you could see the air conditioning set system set up. Yes, it does work and it works brilliant. And you can also see what is claimed to be, well, which is an LS motor, but it claimed to be an LS6 LS motor. So yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Some of you could be looking at this right now on film and going, yep, that's an LS6. Or you, some of you could be going, nope, that's an LS1. And some of you could be saying, uh, is that carbureted? The uh, answer is no. It's this master cylinder. I mean, this is about, is, uh, 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 Jose, can you just kind of like look, get, get a real good, uh, you know, just look down in these holes. I know Jose's gonna be taking some really nice pictures of this in just a couple minutes as well, but I just wanted to talk about it uh, because, uh, you know, I just really wanted you to see it. Over here, the same. Um, oh, hello. Um, apparently there's a, a casting number that would be on the block and uh, it would spit out uh, the fact that, what, you know, what LS it is. But we have not done that, nor have I researched on how to find that. I did look once real quick, uh, but there seems to be a lot of stuff parked up front there, so I just didn't get to it. But folks, isn't this awesome? Look how clean it is. And that little flat engine in there can produce the power that this thing has, which is pretty darn substantial. Now I'm gonna make a couple points here real quick and we're gonna wrap up this condition report video, folks. Uh, all this along here, all this is beautiful. Look down here. Jose, make sure you get this. Remember, remember I pointed this out earlier in the video, like a minute in or two minutes in, we were talking about this little abrasion right here from the hood. Folks, if that's all that's doing going on here, I mean, you got yourself a darn home run. Look at all this across. I don't know. I'm not, a, again, I'll say it one more time. I'm not a truck guy, but this is really something. Oh, the hood goes down a little funny. I will say that. You kind of have to shimmy it around a little bit. <laughs> but. It's down, it's on. You get a couple fingerprints on it by doing that, but boy, the paint is so thick. You just grab your really cool microfiber towel out. And all of them go away. Folks, oh, we didn't talk about the windshield at all. All right, you ready? I'm gonna sum it up for you. Folks, it's, it's new. It's new. There you go. We just talked about the windshield. It's new. I, I don't, there's not even a hiccup on it. This is a beautiful truck. All right, next, we're gonna start it up. We're gonna cruise down the road in it and I'm gonna report back on, uh, on what this truck does, okay? So thanks for checking, hanging in there. This is a special truck. This is, this is really something. We'll be right back. Wow. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a nice truck. Got it outside in the sun for the first time. This red is so red. There's no chips in it. There's no scratches on it. Nobody put a ticket up there. Nobody put a magazine up there. It scratched itself off. Steering wheel, super cool. Is this a tilt steering? Oh my Lord. Is that wood? No, it's just leather wrapped around these gauges. It's just awesome. 
This truck is beautiful. Sound system down here. You got your vintage air system. I just had it on a minute ago. It's great. It looks like a cruise control button here. My Lord. I don't know where the switches are for that air ride back there, but I see, oh, yes I do. I see it. I see the gauge down here and I see the switch. Give us a call, we'll play with the switch for you. If you really, I don't wanna play with that switch. I don't like those things. Okay, uh, here we go. Darn awesome. Sounds like a brand new vet or something. Okay, I'm in park. I'm in drive. Let's go. I'm doing about 35 miles an hour. I'm going to hit the brakes pretty good here. Ready? Three, two, and one. Nice brakes. I didn't get on them real hard, but I got on them pretty good, and we stopped in sufficient time. Just remember, this is an old truck, and, uh, you know, if you wind up taking this home, you need to give yourself a little extra space up front. It is not a Corvette or an Audi or any of those things. So, uh, but this is super smooth really low rumble right now. The RPMs are sitting at uh, 500. That's pretty darn cool. Back on the gas. Whoa, off we go. I'm gonna go over some speed bumps here. This is a pretty, uh, pretty bumpy ride. It's not a super smooth ride, it's a pretty bumpy ride. It's just because of the suspension. Goes over the speed bumps though really nice. Got one more to go. Yeah, super solid. Look at this, no cars coming again. I can't stand it. All right, let's get on the gas pedal. Then again, we are in a 1955 pickup truck. My brake's back on, my right turn signal's on. I can't see where the right turn signal's blinking from, but I can hear it. It did not cancel itself out, so you'll have to do that yourself. I uh, whip around a little cul-de-sac. Just, wow, it turns really quick. And just to be fair, I'm gonna do a hard right as well. Wow, look at the turn. Turning radius is unreal. Holy crap. Okay, so there's another thing we learned today. Turning radius in this truck is just delightful. It turns so fast. Runs very, very smooth. My left turn signal's on. Oh, look at all the traffic. Okay, we're gonna hang out here for just another second. Off we go. <laughs> wow, this thing wants to go. My left turn signal's back on. All right, we're heading back into the shop. Okay, uh, my report card is this on this 1956 truck. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know what engine size is in here yet. Folks, this has got lots of power, tons of power. So yeah, is it an LLS one? How heavy is a great big red 56 all steel pickup truck, at least 5,000 pounds? It's not an LS1. We wouldn't be going this fast. So it is definitely a, a, a more improved than an LS1. Um, 
uh, we, we've been told it's an LS6. Uh, you're you're going to have to comment below, if you will. I've never, I don't know if I've ever said that before. Uh, but if you can tell what it is, folks, I'm sitting here. The temperature gauge is absolutely 100% normal. The voltage is just fine. The oil pressure is perfect. All the gauges work. I've got gas in the car. My RPMs are doing its thing. <clears throat> but I'll say this. Um, it's, it's bumpy. You, you do a lot of this while you're cruising all around. Um, this is not a go-fast truck. I'm pretty sure, you know, with the overdrive, you can get yourself on a very smooth highway and you can really enjoy this. But whipping around town, corners, all that kind of stuff, no, don't do that. Uh, this, this needs to cruise. This is a cruiser. It's a highway cruiser and it's a cruise around town. Getting on it, doing all that kind of stuff, I don't believe it's that kind of truck. Uh, uh, this is a cruiser and it looks like a cruiser. 702-818-1031. Give us a call. This is a beautiful truck. I have no idea how much it is. It should be very, very expensive because this is a very, very nice truck. We'll see you next time. Thanks.